A capital of the French Riviera, located in the Alps Maritimes Department, has a rich historical and cultural heritage. The picturesque alleys, the shingle beaches, the singing accent, the gastronomy and so on, make the city of the Riviera a place where it is good to live. The old town of Nice was once the entire urban area. It has many architectural treasures hidden here and there. Among them, you can appreciate the art collections displayed in the city's museums and galleries, such as the Musée Matisse, the Musée d'Art Moderne et d'Art Contemporain, Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art, also known as MAMAC, the Palais Lascaris, the Natural History Museum, or the Museum of Fine Arts. The famous Promenade des Anglais runs the length of the Bay des Anges. Originally, it was just a trail that was renovated by Reverend Louis Way in 1820. Later, the promenade was separated by a median strip and bordered by palm trees. Inaugurated in 1931 by one of Queen Victoria's sons, the Promenade des Anglais is without a doubt the most famous monument in the city, renowned throughout the world. On the promenade, you walk along the sea on one side and along the facades of hotels and houses on the other. The Fountain of the Sun, Fontaine du Soleil, is undoubtedly one of the most iconic landmarks in Nice. Located at the heart of Messina Square, the fountain is a popular tourist spot and a must visit for anyone who finds themselves in the vicinity. Capdale, an Eden on the French Riviera, at the gates of Monte Carlo, 20 minutes from Nice in Italy. Nestled between Menton and Monaco, Roquebrune Cap Martin is a lesser-traveled hidden gem on the French Riviera, celebrated for its picturesque medieval village, unspoiled coastline, and French modernist architecture. A sun-drenched valley could not be called anything other than lemon country. Bordered by Italy and at the gates of Monaco, known worldwide for its citrus fruit, Menton is both an artistic pool and a paradise at the water's edge in the heart of the Côte d'Azur Dolce Vita. a unique annual event in Menton in February. Since 1930, the Fête du Citron has been the emblem of Menton. At the end of the winter, this both traditional and original event attracts record crowds. The whole town of Menton turns yellow and orange. Floats with 150 tons of citrus fruit made by some 300 people parade through the streets for two weeks. And at nightfall, 
the gardens are illuminated with ephemeral sculptures created with citrus fruits, an event not to be missed in Menton. The Jean Cocteau Museum Severin Wonderman Collection is a museum in Menton. Dedicated to the French artist Jean Cocteau, it incorporates the collection of American businessman and Cocteau enthusiast Severin Wonderman. Menton is clearly divided into new and old cities. The old town occupies the entire hill in the center, with the old port being just next to it. You can reach both on foot using the seaside promenade.
During the Belle Epoque, Beaulieu-sur-Mer became a renowned winter seaside resort, attracting royalty, the upper middle classes, and the aristocracy from all over Europe. Beaulieu-sur-Mer has remained an authentic town with a strong identity, rooted in its Mediterranean history. Beaulieu-sur-Mer, a town that vibrates to the rhythm of its major musical and sporting events, its cultural life, its leisure facilities, and its diverse range of shops. In contrast to the other city districts, Monacoville, Monte Carlo, and La Condamine, Fonvieille was constructed, after Italian engineer Gianfranco Gilardini's design, almost entirely on artificially reclaimed land, and thus represents one of the younger parts of the Principality. In order to combat the chronic land shortage in the extremely densely populated Principality, the work was begun in 1966 to create new land in the Mediterranean Sea. In 1981, Albert II, then Crown Prince, laid the cornerstone for the new city quarter. Port Hercules is the only deep water port in Monaco. The port has been in use since ancient times. The modern port was completed in 1926 and underwent substantial improvements in the 1970s. It covers almost 160,000 square meters, enough to provide anchorage for up to 700 vessels. The port is located in the La Condamine district. Harbor pilots are required for all vessels longer than 30 meters. 
The depth of water in the harbor ranges from 7 meters for standard berths and up to 40 meters for the outer piers and cruise ship docks. This glamorous and modern seaside hotel with 40 rooms and suites, designed by architect India Madhavi, exudes elegance. The Green Globe Certified Hotel is an ode to the Mediterranean with its private beach, Olympic-sized pool, and Elsa, a gastronomic restaurant. Indulge and breathe the sea air in the luxurious setting of this villa overlooking the sea. Beausoleil, a flowery city and green setting of the French Riviera, located in an amphitheater above the Principality of Monaco, between 40 and 560 meters altitude. Stroll through the narrow streets of the city center and discover a beautiful architect of the time. Collège Charles III is a cosmopolitan school where more than 46 nationalities learn side by side. Within this cultural melting pot, Strong themes have emerged and the school has formed a credo based on tolerance, respect, and mutual assistance.
a resort town in the Alpes Maritime Department in the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region on the French Riviera and is located southwest of the Principality of Monaco, which is just west of the French-Italian border. The city of Monaco is split up, like any other town, into several neighborhoods, among others, Monte Carlo, which happens to be the area on the hill overlooking the main harbor that houses the casino and the luxury hotels. Contrary to some information that freely circulates online, Monte Carlo isn't the capital of the country. The official capital is the neighborhood known as Monaco Ville, also known as Le Rocher, which is basically the large promontory that cannot be missed once you are in town and that houses the medieval Old Town, the Oceanographic Museum, and the Prince's Palace, as well as several government institutions. The Stade Louis II, or simply Louis II, is a stadium located in the Fontvieille district of Monaco, near the border with Cap del Commune of France. It serves primarily as a venue for football, being the home of AS Monaco and the Monaco national football team. <laughs> 